Thank you to RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. And like most people, sleep is really important to me, especially living this way. It's so physically demanding to be out on the road or be here at the off-grid property because you literally work sun up to sundown just to keep all of your systems going. And it can be really physically taxing. So therefore, a good night's sleep for me is essential in order for me to live this way. So when RV Mattress reached out and said that they wanted to sponsor a video, I was all about it because the bed that I had here in my camper was not the best. Here in my travel trailer, the size of my bed is not as a standard queen size, so I didn't have to go with any like specific custom dimensions or anything like that. But the bed that I did go with was the Aurora Lux, and the reason for that is that it's got a cooling technology, and I sleep hot. If I can't get cooled down or something like that, chances of me sleeping at night just don't exist. And so this bed's been really nice because it keeps me cool while also providing a good night's rest. RVMattress.com is a Brooklyn bedding brand known for the top of the line comfort and high quality mattresses made right here in the U.S. It is a destination for all of your RV and van bedding needs. You know, if, if you're like me, you kind of want to do a trial run on something before you make a huge financial investment. And so with RV Mattress uh, by Brooklyn Bedding, what they did is they, they have it to where any purchase, you get a 120 night free sleep trial. And then after that, you have a 10 year warranty to make sure that the bed performs the way that you want it. So you can rest easy knowing you made a good purchase. They offer different firmness options, heights and dimensions, even RV specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle, all while being shipped conveniently to you for free. I love my RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out rvmattress.com. Click on the link below or just go to rvmattress.com slash backcountry and get 20% off your mattress using the code backcountry. Thank you. Like the uh, storm's starting to come in. You can see it hitting the top part of the mountain over there, and it also seems like some snow is starting to settle in on the west side of the valley. So, we're gonna walk over here real quick and then walk back to camp. Just can't beat the solitude out here. That's why I love being out in the winter. Is yeah, you know, it requires a lot more gear, a lot more effort, and all that stuff, but I mean, it's incredible, you know. Run around here, you have the forest all to yourself, there's no one around. Looks completely different than what it does in the, you know, in the summer months. And so I, I truly love it. That's why I come out here like this. And you know, by the end of the summer, I'm ready for it to be warm. So here are the views from the parcel that I own from this area at the moment. Although I am um, working with my lawyer to get my money back because this isn't a buildable site. <clears throat> but the views from up here are stellar. Looking through the canyon over there, you can see the storm coming in and and the views all around here are great because I'm way above all the rest of the places here in this little meadow. But unfortunately, you just can't really build here if you look up. You see it's just all dead trees and stuff like that, which is okay. But there's a huge mudslide vein that comes right down through here. So um, they didn't just close that. <clears throat> and as a result, we got to go the legal route. So we'll see what happens. Sierra, I got to wait for your old man. <laughs> I don't hike as fast as I used to. It's a shame that this site isn't buildable because it's really great views. Get out of here, sweetie. I don't know if I'm going. Come on, sweetie. 
Right, you come up here. You want to just lay, okay? You want to lay down there? Let's get you some treats. I'll put some more in your hand. Hey, what's up everyone? So last night we got a lot of snow here at camp. I know, sweet girl. Got a ton of snow. And so uh, what I want to do now is I want to go outside and I want to clear off all the snow from the tent and then also start to kind of try to manage the snow that's around the tent. Because what I don't want to have happen is a bunch of snowfall and then to get my tent stakes frozen into the ground, locked in with ice on top of them. I want to keep those stakes clear. That way when I want to pull stakes, I can easily, you know, get them out of the, the ground and get going. And so the plan for the day, what you doing, Stinker? Plan for a day is let this little girl sleep inside and just kind of relax. Uh, we were up and down quite a bit last night, and I don't know if um, her cancer is bothering her or what, but she seemed like she couldn't really settle down. So I'm going to let her just kind of chill in here. Got the windows open, all that stuff for some fresh air with the stove still going, so it's nice and warm. But um, what you thinking, sweetie? Just going to do that. So let's go outside here, check out and see what the snowstorm is, how much accumulation we've got. You want to go outside with me? You want to go outside? I think she wants to tell me something, so maybe she'll, she'll come outside with us. But um, we're going to go outside and clear all the snow now, and then we'll come back in here and just chill. It's supposed to snow like another half foot today, so we may have to do like two or three clearings just to stay on top of stuff, but we'll get going. You want to go outside? You want to go outside and run around? Okay, let's go. Come on. Sierra, you want to go outside? So to think that I had this whole area cleared yesterday and then last night it just dumped like crazy. It's supposed to continue throughout the day as well. So probably do a few more of these uh, cleanups before nightfall. And then this evening, the snow is only supposed to be like a, a total of like an inch, so that's not going to be bad. So just stay on top of this throughout the day and we'll be in good shape going forward. I just don't want my tent stakes to get frozen underneath solid ice because then it's a real pain to kind of chip them out of there. So. That's why I want to keep this area clear. And I want to have an area to walk around in. The rest of the snow is really deep. And I want to have a place for Sierra to come out and use the restroom and stuff like that. So that's the name of the game today. Just maintaining camp. There's always something to do when you're winter camping.
Snow's coming down hard against me. Yeah. 